Well, w- well, welcome. That's the first thing. Mary, welcome to the, the podcast. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, just, just for our audience, where, where in the world are you? So thank you for having me. Um, I'm in Southern California in a little town called Capistrano Beach. So I'm one of the lucky ones that get to look out my kitchen window and see the ocean. Oh, beautiful. They, yeah. uh, there's something relaxing about the ocean, isn't there? And every day it's, it's different. Every day it's different. And my favorite thing is in the middle of the night when it's really silent is to listen to the ocean. And I just sit there and go, thank you, thank you, thank you, water, thank you, ocean. It's just so soothing, you know? Mm, it is. It's beautiful. And every time I've been to California, I've, I've loved watching the sunsets as, as it just goes into the sea and there's that beautiful orange. And then you say, is it, is it gone? Is it gone? And then it hops down. You're like, oh. And the energy yeah. at that point was amazing, isn't it? Well, you know what's so fascinating? If you start looking at that orange color as the sunset, mm-hmm. that brings in your creative energy. So people need to start really like getting that color orange, especially looking at that sunset because it just pops right into your creative energy. And I, whenever I do that, it's like instantly fills me up. And then it's like, oh, creative ideas start to flow. So that's an awesome color to stare at. Mm. Yeah, there is something beautiful about it, isn't it? You can watch hundreds and hundreds and every time it's slightly different, the cloud formation is different. And certainly in California, I remember I, I thought it was a shark, but it was probably a porpoise or a dolphin going across. And it was just like, oh, wow. I, I know. Like a spiritual moment. <laughs> yeah, and they like to surf in the sea. You can see them surfing with the surfers, too. It's pretty magical. Yeah, beautiful place to be. And cool. And, and it's, I'm sure it's going to be beautifully sunny today. Well, here in the UK, it's a bit dreary. <laughs> Guess what? It's pouring. I'm like in the UK right now. It's overcast. Oh, right. we're, we're, together. we're together then. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I, I was reading all about you and, and, and it's beautiful. And I was looking at your YouTube channel and, I saw it, and it says that your, your passion is helping others raise their vibration and step into their own individual power. And then you, there's, there was this statement. It says that you do power retrieval. I was like, Oh, that sounds interesting. Can, can you explain to the audience what that what's power retrieval? Sure. So um, power retrieval is all about reclaiming the power that we've lost. So let's start from the beginning. We're all made out of energy, right? And so every time we get upset, we um, think in the future or, you know, start our thoughts start going in the future, our thoughts don't go in the past, we lose our energy. So it depletes us like crazy. And when other people take our willpower, when we do things that we don't want to do, we know we shouldn't do, but we do anyways, we're leaking our energy. So I teach people how to reclaim your power, bring that energy back because energy never dies. So that's how power retrieval um, got started because through my life, I was always giving my energy to somebody else constantly my whole entire life. And and then you notice that you can't sleep and then the diseases come and you're just miserable because we're leaking our energy. We're leaking our energy every single moment of the day until you learn how to be in the present moment. And then when you go, oh, my gosh, there I go back into the past. Uh Oh, I'm going to call my energy back. So that's basically what power retrieval is all about. Yeah, I know that feeling. I, I, I was always that people pleaser. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. And then then one day I just thought why at the end of the week am I just so tired? I just want to sleep the whole weekend. And then, and then I have to start and it's Monday. It's like, oh, it's Monday again. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's true. You, you don't realize you, it's, it's a bit like those games, isn't it? You've got a certain amount of power when you wake up in the morning and, and, and you're giving it away all day. And it's not surprising that, that you're empty. So, so yeah. you've got some sort of techniques that uh, help people who, who are feeling that sort of face mm-hmm. up to it and go, no, are, you, are there some yeah, techniques yeah. you could sort of share yeah. with us? Of course. So it's like, no, enough's enough. So the greatest way to get started every morning is to ground yourself. And I know you know this more than anybody. Um, and what I like to do is I like to just, you could stand outside is the best way, but it doesn't matter. You can do this anywhere and just say, so let's start from the beginning. Why are we here? We are here to learn that fear is an illusion and love is conquered all. That's why we're here for earth. This is my beliefs why we're here. 
because fear just gets us zapped. And when fear zaps us, we are leaking our energy. We are leaking our power. Like I said, we're thinking in the future. We're thinking in the past. Now, first thing in the morning, I release any fear, anxiety I'm feeling because you're starting to think, oh my gosh, I have to go see my boss. He's going to say this. He's not going to like that. My husband is going to be pissed because I can't come home, whatever it is. So you're leaking your energy right off the bat. So you just want to release that. I release any anxiety and fear that I am uh, I am I'm feeling right now. Release it down to your mom. Mother Earth truly is your mother Why we are here. Release that down. Connect your roots to her and let that energy come back up. So now you've got that solid base. So then as you go throughout your day, you need to start. It's a practice like anything. It's a practice. So when you start seeing that you're getting that anxiety up, oh, my God, I got to tell my boss this or that. Stop and go, okay, what I like to do is put a violet fire hat on my head. So where is this violet energy that that I always talk about this in my YouTube everywhere? Violet is right here. It's your crown. When you activate that energy of the violet, it's transformation and forgiveness. So it will start clearing your mind so you can be in the present moment. So I like to pretend like you just put a hat on. Make any hat you want. Violet fire. And just stay in that energy for a minute. Now, if you can't see that color, it doesn't matter. It's your intention. And that's a big thing that people don't realize. Oh my gosh, I don't see this. I don't think. No, it's your intention. Do you want to have a clear mind? You're going to have a clear mind. Put that violet fire on. And then when you start going in the in the past or future, you're going to start recognizing awareness, being aware. Oh, I'm going back in the past. I shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have done that. Stop. I call my mental energy back to me. Now, you can ramp it up and you can say through, you have this violet fire energy flowing through you and you go, I call my in, my mental energy back purified and restored because we want it to come back in a new way. So that's a quick, easy way to start getting your mind clear so you can stay in the moment. Now, you can call your energy back, your sexual energy. A lot of people have had, against their will have had to have sex with people that they didn't want to. That's a huge energy leaker. Hmm. Your physical body. I mean, it goes on and on and on, Kevin, how, how much we re- let our energy go and little pieces of us have gone with that. So these are just little tips to help you go, okay, that crazy lady said, yep, I'm leaking my energy. I'm going to call it back to me, purified and restored, whatever you want to say. So it's cleansed as it comes back. So that's basically a really great tip to start with, with power retrieval. Beautiful. And and obviously we're all giving our energy away all the time, but does it sometimes get to the point where you can't call it back? Are are there times where you you need maybe extra help from from something or someone to call it back? Someone's like, well, I don't know, like a relationship and you get divorced. Does, Does that other partner walk away with some of your energy? You definitely need the help from that because the, the first step, most people don't want to. So the, the greatest tool that I can give people to really get started on your um, clearing yourself, cleansing the inside, all the hurts, all the regrets, all the disappointments that's happened to us. It's happened to all of us. That's why we're here. The word is forgiveness. Mm. Forgiveness is the start of it all. Now, who, who can forgive you? Only you, only you, you have the power within yourself to make the change. All the stuff that you beat yourself up daily, you're leaking your energy like nobody's business. And the things that have happened to us, yeah, they might be unforgivable, 100%. But guess what the start is? I forgive. Even if it's unforgivable, I forgive anyways. That is unlocking the door to start stepping into your mastery, to start reclaiming that energy that you leaked. Mm, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm, I'm just I'm just imagining myself with this amazing sort of purplish hat with a sort of like, like a wizard hat falling over. And, and there you go. Like clearing my mind. I can feel it sort of almost like it, it goes down over my face. It's like just the feeling of that can feel the energy in, in your head. Because sometimes you get, your, your head just goes, crazy doesn't it you can feel it you, you sort of sit back and go what's my mind doing and now imagine i can put the hat on 
Yeah, because one of the questions was I had was uh, how do you clear your mind, and, and th that that answers it. And it's a beautiful visual as well, isn't it? As you say, some people can't see color. Uh, I'm lucky enough; I see beautiful colors all the time. So yeah, I'm going to do that in the future. Put my my wizard hat on and clear my mind. Yeah, and 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 it it works. It really works, especially when you're really out of control, man. You just start visualizing that beautiful energy flowing through you, and do your whole body too. You can do your whole mm. body, but the hat. And the hat needs to go over your ears too. Right. It, it works. And that, you know what? I love what you just said, a wizard hat. So yes, be creative. Make that hat awesome looking, whatever fits your personality, right? Mm. Um, and, and then, so those are the, so there's two things that are the most important things. So when people are starting to be spiritually awakened or whatever you want to call it, is that they all go, oh, my third eye, let's activate the third eye. I got to get my third eye. No, no, no. You got to get grounded first. Because if you don't feel safe and secure, nothing in your life is going to work out. Period. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? The good old color, ruby red. Mm -hmm. The base chakra is the most important color to start working with. Because that will make you feel safe and secure. What is this color? This is the divine feminine. Here we go back to the mother's love. We got to have the mother's energy. Like for me, when I grew up, I didn't have that. I grew up with nine other brothers and sisters. So there wow. wasn't a lot of love to go around for everybody, right? And I was the ninth. And I never felt loved. Never felt loved. Never felt loved. And I didn't realize that it's the divine feminine energy that'll make you feel safe and secure. So there's wonderful tips and tools for that too. You call an archangel Chamuel. She's the divine feminine. You, she comes and she can cradle you. And what I like to do is sit on a ruby red couch and then she's holding you there and the energy will just flow up through you and you'll start to feel safe and secure. That is the key, is feeling safe and secure. Then you're able to start working with the other energies, the three energies like I just, we talked about at the beginning, the coral. That coral is your soul color. Breathe it in, breathe it in, drink it in. I teach people how to drink the ruby red. Drink the coral, eat the peach, because it works. You're filling those empty buckets that are our spiritual batteries. Then you go up to the next one is calming the mind. So we're doing the emotional body and we're doing the mental body. And once you start getting those under control, that's when the magic starts to happen. Do you agree with me? I do. It, it, it all makes sense. It, it, it resonates very much with all the shamanics and things I do. And it's all about your auras and your chakras and grounding yourself before before you decide to go too high. Because there's that kundalini awakening. And you have to be careful that when it shoots up, you need to be grounded. Otherwise, you disappear off somewhere. <laughs> You're talking yeah. about colors. I love the, your, all your candles in the background. Yes. Um, I, I assume each of those colors and those candles mean something oh, special what what yeah. what's, you've got the turquoise one there and the pink well, the one turquoise one is um success and dreams come true people don't understand that you can bring those colors into your body so say you're say you're freaking out you you know you're like gosh i want to manifest this and that in my life um and i dive into it i have a picture right here of turquoise you mm -hmm. dive into that color you dive into it you look at it and it's going to start bringing your dreams, manifesting your dreams and success. You can start vibrating in that new energy, right? Um, yeah, that's one of my candles. I have a whole line of candles that have affirmations. And then I, just like you do, and you know, we have the power to bring the energies in to infuse these candles. So they're high vibration candles. Yeah. And I have power up candle. I have um, all sorts of just beautiful high vibration candles that I use. But the colors truly are our spiritual batteries to mm. help us. And they need to be overflowing. So you can imagine your chakra system as buckets. Yeah. Go in and ask. Go in and ask your little Kevin, little Mary. Hey, what do I need? What am I feeling? What do I need? Oh, God, I'm so scared. Okay, let me come on, Divine Mother. Let's fill me up. Let me drink that ruby red energy. Gosh, my creative energy is really, really off. 
wait, that crazy lady said, let's drink the coral. Let's drink that. Fill up. Let it flow through you. Yeah, the colors really work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, colors yeah. are coming in a lot recently. I, I I work a lot with the dragons and the, and the turquoise dragon has come in a huge amount in the last few weeks. And be, the few weeks before that, there was a lady on and we were talking about abundance and how she became a millionaire with dragons. And she said something about lots of people are there's a they've got a thing about money and one of the things she said it was i asked people why wouldn't you want to be a millionaire and, that, and all their blocks come up and she said you need to clear those and we went for a process and, and cleared it and suddenly i'm seeing this turquoise color everywhere and i was watching one of your videos and you were talking about manifesting i was like oh that's why it's come in and it, it's true the, the color the colors work now, i definitely need to buy your candles because i've just been writing a book about um healings with merlin and or in all of his, he, he talks about having different candles and colors. And I was like, I never really used them. I, I use like a, a white standard one normally. Yeah. I was like, ah, there's power in the color. So that's come through. So yeah, you, you've confirmed to me that there's power in the color. I definitely need to uh, buy a whole range of them now. Yeah, there's <laughs> definitely power in the co color as well. And I love that you're talking about dragons because another thing to reclaim your power and fill up with that power that you have so people are always looking on the outside right we're always looking on the outside for our power and that's our ego mind getting in the way believe me i've done it a million times and i'm probably going to do it some more but i'm getting more aware of starting to trust my inner mary my trusting my higher self whatever you want to call it your connection your your soul um and, and so what is super powerful, and I'm sure you do it, but you're going to do it now because I'm going to tell you, you get on your dragon, get on your dragon and put little Kevin in front, the Kevin that wants to play and ride your dragon. You get on your dragon and you know what I like to do? Dip down in the ocean, swim with the whales, right? Come back up. And then what I do is I circle the earth on my dragon and I bring out the color of purple and start throwing them on the places that need love and transformation. So all where there's war, where there's famine, where there's children and women, you know, for right now, because my husband just had a stroke, I've been really praying and bringing the love to stroke, um, other stroke victims yeah. and their families. So it's, we've got the power to get on our dragon, fly around, go to those places that need that extra love. It's so awesome, Kevin. And it's your imagination. What is that doing? It's making you smile. It's raising your vibration. You're helping in a fun way to raise the vibration of planet Earth. Mm, that's a beautiful image. Uh, I, I love flying on my dragons. when I'm always sitting on the front like you see in the movies. Like, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I've not tried that dipping into the water one. I'll have to try that one. That sounds like fun. And I love the idea of throwing packets of color at things to, to, to add love and healing to it. It's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. And your dragon can, you know, blow out the, the flame, right? Because yeah. the flame to reconnect to your soul. So we have our soul, our souls here in heaven, and there's a droplet of Kevin and there's a droplet of Mary into these personalities, right? Mm -hmm. So this soul is the one who wants to experience all these things on earth. And we're like the personality down here. So we want to reconnect to our higher self, our soul. So we need to start bringing in more soul light, more soul power. And the dragon really helps you do that. Yeah, it definitely does. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Right. One, one, one of the things that you were talking about, you we talk about the, the balance between feminine and masculine or some of the energies, and we, we've sort of touched on it a little bit. You're talking about earth being the feminine energy, and I always feel that whenever I do my shamanic healings, the first thing I do is connect a cord from my root chakra and from my feet into the earth, and every breath in and every breath out is cleansing the energy. And how, how do you see us balancing our masculine and feminine energies that we've, we've all got? Ba how to balance them yeah how to balance them this is really really cool so you know i can do a little exercise to show you guys do you want to do that, that that would be beautiful yeah please okay so this is what so this is this is the deal so mm -hmm. we can do want to do it right now we'll, we'll close yeah. our eyes everybody yeah. can do this exercise okay Let's do it. 
So let's close our eyes and take a nice deep breath in. And then just exhale. Now, before you is a ruby red body. This is a ruby red body. This is your feminine body. This is your emotional body. I just want you to focus on this ruby red body. Just see it beautiful standing right in front of you. And then next to the ruby red body is a sapphire blue body. And this is your mental energy. This is your mental energy. This is your divine feminine, uh, divine masculine energy. So just look at those two bodies for me. Now, standing next to the sapphire blue body is a coral body. Beautiful coral body, the color of the sunset. Just look at that beautiful coral body. This is your physical body. This is your physical body. And then standing next to the coral body is an emerald green body. Beautiful emerald green body. This is your spiritual body. So you've got these four bodies standing in front of you. We're going to go back to the ruby red body. So we're back to the ruby red body. The sapphire blue body is going to step right into the ruby red body. And let those colors mix. So now we have one body. We have ruby red and sapphire blue mixing, mixing these colors together. And I want you to say, my emotional body is one with my mental body. My emotional body is one with my mental body. Now keep mixing these colors together and they're going to turn violet, beautiful violet. Now let's let that violet body just stand there and just look at the energy flowing back and forth. Your mental body and your emotional body are one. Beautiful. Now let's go to the coral body. The coral body is going to walk into the green body. And let those colors merge. Let them merge all together. And I want you to say, my physical body is one with my spiritual body. My physical body is one with my spiritual body. And we're just mixing these colors together. And this body is just going to be blinding white, white light. And you get those two bodies. Now we have two bodies in front of us. We have our beautiful purple body and we have our beautiful white body. These two bodies are going to merge to one and watch the explosion. It's going to be every color of the rainbow and beyond. So you might see colors you've never seen before. So now we got our mental body, our spiritual body, our physical body, and our emotional body are all one. So every color of the rainbow. Now, here we go. We're going to expand this body all the way up, 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 and top, until the tallest tree you've ever seen. Just keep expanding, taller and taller. And I want you to be able to put your hands on top of the tree line. That's how big you are. Now, we're going to start expanding wider and wider and wider. Massive, just wider and wider. So you're expanding up and you're expanding wider. Everything is in alignment. All your bodies are in alignment. You are in perfect balance. I am one with my humanity. I am one with my divinity. I am one with my divinity and I'm one with my humanity. And when you're ready, just come back. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wow, Isn't that the, amazing? The colors of the rainbow, as you said it, uh, uh, all I saw it's just like went psh, and there's rainbows all over the place. And, and, and all I could hear was like, rainbow warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would, uh, all of a sudden it was just like, no, you're doing this. I'm like, okay, we're going to do the whole body. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. I, I, I feel, I feel like I've been fully refreshed 
me too. I needed this. Like all of a sudden I'm glowing from ear to ear. So thank you for that, Kevin. Wow, that was that was gorgeous. Thank you for sharing. I'm sure everyone will be sending you lots of love when they go through that. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it cool. really works. So just start just start balancing. Balance yourself. Yeah. Balance yourself. And then start catching your mind. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I'm going in the past. I got to bring mm -hmm. it back. I got to bring it back. Start asking. And then the, the, the biggest thing that I could tell your listeners is start asking for help. We have free will here on this planet. So the angels can't help you. Your guides can't help you. All the beautiful beings that are out there to help us, you got to ask. And yeah. when you start asking, they'll come faster and you'll start seeing the miracles and you'll start hearing them, sensing and feeling them. A great thing to do is to learn how to start feeling your soul, right? So we're here to start feeling the our soul, start connecting to our soul so we get the clear intuition flowing through us mm -hmm. how do we do that this is an awesome awesome practice so i have my pendulum right here and we all know how the pendulum works right we ask it yes and it goes one way we ask it no it goes another way guess what you can do the same thing with your soul mm -hmm. so this is a great exercise so you just stand and start breathing expanding your body out you start expanding your body out and stay in your breath and then you go, soul, show me my yes. You might get a tingle on your cheek. You might get a tingle on your toe. It doesn't matter. Show me my yes and just sit in it. Sit there. And then once you get that yes, say, show me my no. And you'll feel it somewhere in your body. And start asking, right? And then when you start feeling comfortable with that little bit of feeling, you go, so should I have coffee today? Oh, <laughs> says no. Oh, should I have tea? Says yes. Start using that with daily simple things, right? Once you get that yes and no and you're comfortable, like, yep, it's been 30 days and I've been doing it with like, go left, go right. Should I wear black? Should I wear white? Start with the easy stuff. Now start asking for the bigger questions and watch what happens. Mm, that's, that's beautiful I like that yeah that's good isn't that cool yeah and, and it's just it's so easy sometimes we think it needs to be so complicated we have to do this big ritual and sacrifice something and yeah but no yeah. you know it's it's all it's all within isn't it and you, as you say yeah. it's, it's that getting that connection and believing it and as you say stop living in the past stop living in the future try and be now and, and that is very difficult you know, somebody said to me, staying fully present is a bit like walking a tightrope. You've, you've got to keep catching yourself because you're all the time you're going about to lose your balance. And that's all it is, isn't it? It's catching it faster and faster mm -hmm. and faster and faster to the point yeah, of your balance. But you're, you're always still catching yourself. Well, the greatest thing is to, to stay in the present moment is start being thankful. Right. Mm -hmm. Because when you're like washing your hands, thank you, water. Oh, my God. Thank you, fingers. Where am I? I'm right here right now. So if you start practicing gratitude for what you have, because we we aren't grateful for the things we have. We're not grateful for our body. We're not grateful for our, our house, our food, any of that crap. Yeah. But once you start going, oh, my God, thank you for this pin. Thank you for this water. What am I doing? I'm right here right now. And then when my mind starts going into the future, or starts going into the past. Oh my gosh, let me go back to here. Thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. And that'll start helping you stay in the moment. And you'll catch yourself. The more you do it, you're like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here I go again. <laughs> yeah, you almost stand beside yourself watching yourself and laugh, can't you? Like, ah, you lost it for a second. <laughs> yeah. A nasty little voice in the back of our head. It's, it's funny, my sister, she goes, you know what? I call my ego now Missy. Missy, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's this powerful thing the ego and but once once you've seen it once you catch it once you realize it, it's not necessarily who you are it just comes with this this suit then it's a powerful thing isn't it but gratitude i agree gratitude is gorgeous getting up in the morning and i, I do that i get up in the morning and go what am i thankful for? i'm thankful that i woke up I'm thankful that the cat woke me up at three o'clock, bless her. I'm, I'm thankful that I've got some food for breakfast. And, 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 and by the time you've done 10 of those, it doesn't matter how you woke up, because sometimes you wake up in a bad mood. I do sometimes, I'm like, oh, I'm in a bad mood. But once you've done 10 or 11 thank yous, you're like, 
actually it's a good life i'm lucky i've got a roof on my head i've got water i've got food this was some poor person's having to walk five miles or pot on their head i i, I should be very thankful you know <laughs> yeah it's there's it a tap wow yeah, good. yeah. no it, it's it's yeah. it's it's a great start being gratitude and just man just filling up with that ruby red that's the key and that's the key to manifesting too the ruby red when you're safe and secure, that's when the, everything will start coming to you. And I have been beat up so many times with my ego. Man, my ego, whoo, it's taken me down some dark roads. And it's like, nope, not anymore. You know, because yeah. what does it do? We think we think fearful thoughts. Yeah. And then once we think fearful thoughts, more fearful thoughts come to us. And then we're just a, we're a mess. Put your, put your hat on. Put that purple hat on. Start saying thank you. Yeah, it's so easy, isn't it? And it's just yeah. catching yourself. That's that's the thing. It's catching yourself. We've talked yeah. a lot about the earth, and I was looking on your on your beautiful website, and you've got something called, something called the Five Earth Element Deck. Yes. What's that? Isn't that cool? They're so awesome. Um, where is my one of my decks? Oh, here's one. Uh, they they are so cool. So. So I, I love um, working with the angels and I love working with the elements. Mm -hmm. So I came up with my own deck and this opens up your sacred space. So yeah. this one is, the, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. So this is air. So air, what is air? Air is um, communication. Archangel Gabriel works with air. So what I teach people is to, when you're having a tough time, say you need to go speak to your husband about something you're scared about or your partner, or you have to speak to your boss mm -hmm. or anybody, mm -hmm. you call in this element and you call in Archangel Gabriel, open the angel airwave so yeah. I can communicate. So now you're taking the power from you. You're putting it up to your guides, your angels. And you're communicating with that person's guides and angels. So it's already getting worked out before you even have to walk in the room and have a conversation. Just like I did before we got on this conversation today. Open this up so we can enjoy each other. We can get the information through. So this is the power of the north, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go to um, fire. Who's fire? Archang Thank you. This is Archangel Michael. And this is the power of creative energy, fire, right? The belly, that coral, those two, the, the ruby red and the coral combined. So now you're bringing in the creative energy. And it, this is the, the um, power of the East, right? And then you call in good old beautiful mama, <laughs> our mama. And then I ask her to ground us in everything that we have on this planet, my sweater, all your beautiful things all come from her. It doesn't come from heaven. It comes from her, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to start being grateful. So that's the South, the power of the South. And then check this one out. I love this. Water. Who's water? Archangel Raphael. Emotion. Water. Brings through and cleanses and purifies us, right? So this is the power of the of the West, the tower and the power of the West, just like you, you're a shaman. And then we call an ether. Hmm. We bring the ether in. That's Archangel Metatron. Metatron brings all of this yummy stuff. And then, then um, he comes through or the angel comes through and brings heaven to earth, earth to heaven. So we can bring that magic in for us. So it's opening your sacred space. Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. I love them. The colors of those are gorgeous. The water one, that's me because I'm, I'm a, I was born under the Pisces. So uh, I'm, yeah. a, I'm very watery. And uh, I yeah. love the intuition. So people, mm. Yeah, people really enjoy my cards. And what I'm going to do to whoever buys these cards, I'm going to do a um, massive webinar. And I'm going to show everybody how to bring in the energies and the angels so they can really lift up their vibration. So why do we want to do this? We want to do this so we're creating a sacred space in our home or wherever so you can meditate. You can bring those energies in. See, we've got this gorgeous sacred space around us. Now the yummy stuff can come in. Your mind is calm. 
you can sit and you can start learning to listen to your guides and your intuition. So it's important to open up that sacred space. Mm, that's beautiful. So do you, do you offer many webinars or other offerings that you want to share with the audience? So I, what I do is I um, have, um, I do teach people how to retrieve your power. Mm -hmm. I do um, personalized guided meditations. Mm -hmm. So like you call me and you go, Hey Mayor, I want help with this, this, and this. Yeah. And I set it all up for you. So you can listen to these uh, meditations to start um, releasing things that no longer serve you. I also have uh, my beautiful um, candles that we talked about mm -hmm. and I have a smudge spray and the smudge spray is out of this world smells so good. And I love that if you can't um, burn any um, Santa Paula or whatever. And I love it because I like to take it to the hotel rooms, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're going on a trip or you're going your office, even you could clear all that space with just a couple of, um, you know, your intention and plus clearing your space with the spray. So yes. And then I have my deck. I have all sorts of wonderful little things on my website and offerings and um, now I'm doing soul activation. So I'm teaching you how to step into the soul of oneness. So you're stepping into the soul of oneness to activate the, your your um, heart and your in your soul. So we can start stepping into that flame. I show people how to do that too. Wow, beautiful. Obviously, what I'll do is I'll be sharing all of your links so people, people can see those. It sounds like you're a busy lady. Do, do you do anything to to chill out? What's What's your relaxation? My relaxation is pickleball and hiking. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are my favorite things right now. I love hiking. I've been to Peru. I've done all sorts of hikings all over the place. And and so that's my main passion. But I love pickleball right now. I'm getting good. <laughs> sure. I have no idea what it is. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> it's Oh, my God. It's, it's taken off in the States. It's like tennis, but it's yeah. with a wiffle ball. It's a little ball and you have a yeah. little paddle. And it's yeah. so much fun. Sounds like cool. It keeps you fit, doesn't it? And, and hike, I love hiking. Hiking is beautiful because you're connected with with Earth, with Gaia, and and, and the, just the fresh air and nature. It's yeah. I, I go every Friday for a walk for about well, normally sort of 10, 11 miles with a group of friends, and it's beautiful. It's it's sacred. Friday is I do not work Fridays. Friday is my day. I, I walk in nature, and it just like ah. <sighs> Grounds me you know, for a week. I do too. I sit underneath the trees. I sit with the oh, trees. Man. I take my shoes off. I walk on the on Mother Earth. I, I, I can't even tell you how many times I've been healed by Mother Earth crying. Another great thing to do too for for everybody, when you're really not doing well, go and lay on the dirt. Mm. Literally lay down on the dirt. I've done that so many times when I've been unsettled and just cried and cried and cried. She takes it all away. Yeah. And, it, and she has room for all of us to do that. She is a mighty angel. She's mighty. Look at all the things that, you know what blows me away, Kevin? Just mm -hmm. looking outside my yard, all the beauty that I have, that's all over the whole world. She's <laughs> mighty. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I always marvel at the the things that she draws and the pictures, like the sunsets. And then you, I go out and there's this little little flower, and, it, and it's just perfect. And you're like, wow, it's amazing. And yeah, but yeah, that that laying on the earth is powerful. In shamanic one, we say, open your bare belly button and put your bare belly button on the earth, and and feel your soul being cleansed by the Mother Earth. That yeah, same thing. It's just so powerful. And so so we're so embarrassed to do it, but do it. Just get out there, you know. I don't care anymore. I don't. My no, ego what? used to run the show. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I'm the kooky one. I don't care. <laughs> I like who I am. Right? It's good to be kooky. You know, everyone yep. else is like, you know, they're sheep. Yeah, it's yeah. good to be, no, it's good to be weird really. and different. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll go and give a person a hug if they need a hug. I will, you know, whatever. We. That's why we're here. We're here to spread love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so what is there anything next for you? What's coming up next for you that you'd like to share? Uh, let's see what's coming up next for me. So I have oh, I have my podcast as well. Power Retrieval Podcast. So you um, you can find me at MaryArmandaris.com mm -hmm. and you can find me at PowerRetrieval.net. 
Yep. And then um, I have that. But right now I'm kind of in a standstill because, like I said, my husband just had a stroke. So I'm going through a whole new spiritual um, evolve. I don't know what I want to call it, but it was a shock. And now I know that I have more power than I've ever had in my life in believing. And i am got my big angel wings just on the back of me. And I'm like, you know what? We're going to get through this and we're going to get this through this strong. Longer. So right now, basically, um, the cards and doing a big webinar with the cards. So whoever is interested in learning how to open your sacred space and mm -hmm. the angels and calling in the elements, that's my next thing coming up. Beautiful. I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing that link. Then I'll uh, just be along to listen in on that. It'll be amazing. And is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience while you've got their attention? The one thing that I want to say is start loving yourself. Love everything about you, even the things you don't think are great. They're beautiful. We are beautiful beings and we're all here to grow and evolve. So be kind to yourself, first of all, and be kind to others. And um, that's what I'm feeling that we really need to work on right now in our society. So that's all I have to say today, Kevin. That's absolutely beautiful. Mary, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you and uh, i'm sure we'll talk to each other again i hope so thank you very much thank you kevin